Hey guys, it's me, Scratch How To, and today we will be doing our Clinker Game Episode 2. So make sure you watch Episode 1 first, make sure to watch that, and then you need to save it as a copy, because now we're doing Part 2. So I have edited some of my uh, code for the money clicker, like this. So if you want the, the size animation to look kind of like this, then you need to do the same thing as this. Okay. And I also did the same thing for the shop button, as you can see, and for the shop items. It's basically just what a touchy mouse pointer change size by the size you want it to be, and this is the speed. Okay. So now, uh, where we left off was when we wanted to make the cost. So we won't be, we will need this later. So when I start as a clone, if touching mouse pointer, then here, if... The mouse is down. Wait, when we're touching mouse pointer, though, we want to say our cost. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is say cost, uh, and then we just say blink if we're not touching. So it shows the cost now. But our cost is equal to zero, but we'll fix that. So um, at the beginning, when I start the well, let's make a custom call called get cost of item. And then we'll just add a hash for number. I'm gonna cross refresh. So you get cost of item and then cost of number. Okay. If number is equal to one, then that means it will be the cursor, right? So we set cost to, let's see, how about our money per second times how 0.5? Or actually, not 0 0.5, this, see this will be how much seconds of MPS we will need. So, 20 seconds of money per second plus how about 10. <clears throat> and then let's duplicate this. So if it's 2, then we set it to 120 seconds or 2 minutes of money per second plus 100. Okay, so now, oh, let's click the new flag. This would be 100, this would be 10. So, now if it's 3, then we want to set it to 5 minutes or 300. <clears throat> now, normally in uh, Cookie Cooker, usually it depends on how many you own. But uh, we're, we're going to do this in a different way. So let's see, I could buy this. Okay, so now if else down, and if the, if the money of clicker minus one, because we're going to use a greater than, so we're going to need to buy this one there. It's greater than the cost. Then we broadcast. Buy. We broadcast buy. But let's make a new variable called bot. So we'll delete all the bot at the beginning. And then we add... Uh, we add our cost to bot. <clears throat> okay. So now, in the clicker, when I receive buy, that we change money by zero minus item one of bot. And yeah, that should be it. So if I do this, Yep, it's, oh, that is not what was that. Let's see bot. We bought one of it, right? So, let me just, oh yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah I am using auto clicker. Uh, let me just set money to, and if I set it to like 1,000, then if I click mine, it buys so multiple of them. So, what we need to do, let's go to shop items, wait until not mouse down. Wait till not mouse down or I mean and touching mouse pointer. Right 
So now if I do I could just buy one and then and but if you put the mouse back on it just keeps on buying it. Okay. <clears throat> so now our bot is done. But what we need to do now and then we delete one bot. So let's rename it to bot money. Okay, so now we and now let's make a new one called bot items. So now uh, we delete all bot items. And let's add a delete all bot money here and let's remove the one here. So now we want to keep track of what we actually buy. <clears throat> so we add our cost name to bot items. Okay, so let's show the bot items. So now if I go to the shop, I can buy this. This shows cursor. If I buy it again, cursor. And then cursor. So let's show item edge of cursor in bot items. Does it do the first one or the last one? Okay, it does the first one. So that means Scratch must just be looking for a one by one. So now we need to change our money per click depending on the cursor. So, <clears throat> uh, so we change money per click. Well, now we gotta make a block and create a new block called add and then amount to and then mpc or mps from file screen fresh so since that it fails if mpc or mps is equal to mpc then we change mpc by amount else we change mps by amount <clears throat> Okay, and now let's add, uh, okay, so now we need to make another block called give perks. Remember for our screen refresh, we want to see give perks if <clears throat> our costume name, or actually our costume uh, number, or actually, how about we just do number? So we can just make a number of number here. Okay. So if number is equal to one, which means we're the first one. <clears throat> now it's where the cursor. So we want to add uh, usually every cursor gives you plus one per click. So we want to give how plus zero point one. When on plus one to money per click. And it also gives you some money per second, so we add 0 0.1 to my per second. Okay, so let's see what that does. So if I just click, let's see the money. Oh yeah, I forgot. So uh, let's make another, when I receive start clicking forever, we will change money by money per click. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, you need money per second. Sorry, money per second. Okay, there we go. So now if I click, so. And now if I show the money. Oh, yeah, right, right. We have to set the gift perks. Gift perks that would cost the number. <clears throat> okay, let me try this one more time. Okay, so I just restarted it, and this is what's happening. Yeah, so, uh, we write money, right? So, we want our money to be rounded, so we set money to round money. There we go. So, uh, oh yeah, and we want to also wait one second, because that's money per second. So now, as you saw, it changed. And our money per click... Also got increased. Wait, so if I buy another one, if I buy more, then look, as you can see, our money per click and our money per second. They change. So our money per second is 1, and our money per click is 11. So I get so much per click now. But we don't want we don't want to get so much per click, right? Because we, we're going to set it to 0 0.1. Okay, let's see now. So now it's 42. Oh, oh look at this cost. So now it's just 42.00. Oh. 
Okay, well, let's see. Well, you want to set it to round. Okay, I, I got it. So we need, so in the get cost of item, we need to set this to round. So round, let's make three rounds. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Also, if you want to, you can do start your money resets, but I didn't do that. Okay, so now they're back to normal. Let's buy it. As you can see, the money per second and the money per click goes up. So I make about what two per second, and I make 2.8 per click, so about three. Okay, so far going good. So now uh, let's duplicate this if gift perks. So let's see. Okay, so farms usually produce eight cookies per second. So on uh, in cookie clicker, but we're gonna reduce that. Well, actually, how about we it, we just said to uh four, yeah. And the mines, they produce forty seven, but we're gonna reduce that to twenty. Okay, so let's see how it is now. I can buy one. So we actually got a lot per second. But uh, let's make a new spy called cursors because it could be clicker. It doesn't just add up like that. No, it does it one by one until you get the desired amount. So uh, there, it just will be blank costume. <clears throat> so when green flag clicked, we will hide. Okay, so let's make another block. Let's make a new block called get cursors in bot. Okay, so now <clears throat> repeat the length of bot items. So, and we'll also set item one. Maybe let's make a new variable when we set item one. So, if, and let's also make a new variable called j for this part only. <clears throat> we set j to zero here. If item i of bot items is equal to cursor, then we change j by one. Then we change i by one at the end of this repeat loop. So yeah, basically, uh, it will give us the j, the j amount will be how many cursors we bought. So let's see, we bought eighteen cursors. Let me see bot items. Oh, we have bought we bought eighteen cursors. So that gets us how many cursors we have. So now we repeat. Uh, we repeat. So the money per wait no, we repeat. So how many cursors do we have? J, and we all when we want them. So the and each of them give them. Oh, <laughs> one second. Okay, each of them give them uh, give us zero point one money per second. So we'll divide J by zero point one. So this will basically give us how many clicks we need, 180 clicks, just to get uh, that many, or how many per second. Or actually, let's say you multiply, so this is how much the cursors give us in total. This is how much money the cursors give us every second. Okay, but we want it to repeat in one second. And Scratch runs at about 30 frames per second, right? So we want to make this about in a second. So we'll divide it by 30. So that's how much it'll increase every oh, frame. So if we multiply that by 30, wait, no, 30 divided by 0 0.1, then, you know, how about we just resort to clones, you know? Okay, so let's get cursors in bot. Okay, uh, let, so we broadcast delete. And when I receive delete, we delete this clone. Actually, no, let's not, but that's inefficient. So let's make a new variable called cursors. Uh, for all sprites. And we, do we want to set cursors to zero? No, we set cursors to J. We get cursors in bot if 
j is greater than cursors, the last cursors, that we repeat cursors, I know j minus cursors. We create a clone of ourselves. Okay. And then when I start as a clone forever, we change and money per, uh, wait, no, we change. Actually, no, we can't change the money. Instead, what we'll do is we'll broadcast, you know, buy, but we'll add uh, to bought money. We'll add 0 0.1 to bought money, broadcast buy, and then we'll wait one second. Okay, so now we have our cursor, so I'm the clicker. Money per second, okay. Uh, when I RC buy, this should take care of it. So if I buy a cursor, so this is our money. Oh, why is it working like that? Oh yeah, because usually we decrease it whenever we, uh, because it usually thinks of it as buying stuff. So how about we change money by I don't want to buy money. And let's go to the shop items. And when these ones are broadcast, we add a zero minus cost. Okay. So that should work. So now, as you can see, it's increasing. But when we buy something, it still decreases. And, oh my god. We do not have to look at this. How did this happen? Let's set money to 1,000. Okay. So now, how did we get less than, how did this happen? I need to see. Wait, so can we infinitely click it? What? That's not supposed to happen. Shop items, if money of clicker. But for some reason, well, now it doesn't give us it, but like, why was that happening? Let's also add a get cost of item above here. So we get cost of item and cost you numbers. That the amount doesn't stay the same. Okay, let's add this back. As you can see, more and more clones are being created every time we buy a cursor. And there's a maximum of 300 clones, so we don't really want that. Okay, you know, instead of this, forever one green flag clicked, repeat J, add 0 0.1 to put money. But we don't, we don't just want to wait one second, right? Because that would just take forever. So how about we do J times 0 0.1 maybe? As you see, it's... Okay, let's see now. Okay, actually, this is working pretty well. Okay, this is a really long video. But anyways, uh... <clears throat> so now that we have our money... One second, let me just hide these variables. Okay, I think cursors have one. MPC and MP click. I mean MPS and MP clip. I mean MP, yeah, MPS and MP clip. So now oh, we have these so far, and then the farm price increases by a lot. So it usually depends on how many there are. So instead of doing get cursors, we'll get and then item and bot. Okay. So now we can just drag this here into shop items. <clears throat> get item and bot. If you want to get costume name and bot. So now how many, <clears throat> uh, let's see bot items. We have bot two cursors, right? So how about instead of saying cost, we say they're J. Okay, let's see. So now we've bought two, right? And now we bought three. Okay, so now we can, instead of causing a bot, we uh, add amount, or where is it? I have get cost of item. So now instead of how the round of this, we will set it to how much we have. So J, J multiplied by how about 5 plus 10. <clears throat> and here we set it to uh, 5, but instead we do 100. And this will be the same thing, except more like 200. Okay, so now 
Every time we buy one, the price increases. Except for the farm, it's not really working, so how about we just restart? Okay. Oh yeah, we need to change this to get item. Okay. So now... The farm should be working, yep, and the price increases once you get more. This has been a really long video. Yep, every time you buy one, the price increases. And oh my god, look how much cash I have. Now, my per second is 1,000, so. So let's look at money per click. It's only 1.2. <clears throat> so uh, let's go to shop items. Uh, here instead of zero for money per click, have a let's change about what. Here we go. So now, oh okay, and the clones are it's only thirty four clones. Wait, why is there thirty four clones? That be, oh what that be, we did we're not we're not supposed to add clones. We get J and bot. I mean, no, not J. Sorry. We get first cursors in bot, or just cursor actually. So let's put that there. And if it's equal to item, here we go. So now it should be working the same, right? And the, there's still clones being added, kind of. But now there's not that much. If we restart, the clones is only nine. But I still wonder why is there nine clones? <clears throat> because the only the, the only clones is supposed to be from here. So I, oh yeah, because of the letters. Oh yeah, the letters also are clones. See, because I can drag them, so that means they're clones. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And share as it helps the channel. Hit that notification bell. Have a wonderful day.